yeah, unfortunately, as I say, it's, it's not a video I ever look forward to doing. It's, it's something I wish I never ever had to do, but um, nonetheless, I'm going to do it, give you my thoughts on the horrible, horrible stuff that is going on in London right now. Um, a summer, if you don't know, if you've been living under a rock, um, there's an attack on London today about midday. Um, let me just bring you up with, up to speed with the facts. Four dead, 20 injured. Expect the number of dead and uh, injured to rise. Um, one of the dead is the attacker. He received CPR, but by the looks of it, it failed. What a shame that is. Uh, one police officer died, and two other uh, people did die. Uh, the police officer was died after being charged at and stabbed by the attacker who somehow got himself in. To Parliament Square, which ever so slightly worrying. There's unconfirmed reports that there is a suspicious package um, in the House of the Commons, hence why uh, they weren't evacuated. That is, I believe, the House of Commons is still on lockdown. The terrorists picking a very good day to do this uh, in terrorist land because it's Prime Minister's questions, and the MPs are obviously all there for Prime Minister's questions. Um, <laughs> this is clearly an attack on our our freedoms our liberties our way of life our beliefs and our democracy um, and of course thoughts out to those affected by these horrible horrible attacks not just those directly affected but by those that were caught up in it and and also the families of those that have lost loved ones or the families of those that have currently got injured loved ones who they are praying makes it make it through um, and you know just a note on the police officer who died doing his job trying to protect um, the public today very very sad at uh, three of the injured are three French primary school students I mean it's um, at this point it's unbelievable I mean it's, I'm a mixture of angry sad everything you know that I just don't I don't know what I don't know what more people need I mean a year ago today was um, the Brussels uh, bombings where 32 people died uh, that were victims, uh, and 35 in in it all died. Uh, three perpetrators. They were the bombings. Um, <clears throat> so it's no so it's no coincidence that this happened a year on. Um, it's no coincidence that it's exactly the same style that being a car and a knife attack as what we saw in Ohio State in November. This is an Islamic uh, terrorist attack, and I'm sorry about anybody who refuses at this point to call uh, what we're seeing. Um, as Islamic terrorism and still won't call it that um, well I'm, I'm afraid to say uh, you are really really a part of the problem um, those who have criticized people who have spoke about the violence of Islam this extreme wing of Islam and Islamic terrorism have spoke about it and tried to create ways to fight and to stop it and to protect people um, and have been shut down by people calling them Islamophobic and and racist and xenophobic and and everything else the people that have done that the people that have shut down these people trying to make things better the blood of the dead is on your hands again today it is simple as that you are responsible for this Donald Trump's uh, ban doesn't seem as bad now does it I mean this is something we we need to start to act after every terrorist attack, we say the same things, but nothing ever changes. And I, I'm sorry, at this point, if you're still defending and, and, and calling everyone who, who talks about this attack Islamophobic and this and that, then I'm sorry, but I have no time for you. I don't want to partake in a discussion with you, because you are just sick and twisted and so much part of the problem. It is unbelievable. Those who support mass immigration, the refugee, you know, you, this is the thing. This is the thing. Let, let me just talk about this point. Those on Twitter putting pray for London. What the fuck do you hope to achieve from putting pray for, hashtag pray for London? The same people putting hashtag pray for London are the same people that, that march the streets criticizing the racist, sexist Donald Trump for his Trump ban of this Muslim ban on countries that are <laughs> terrorist ridden same people 
The same people who love mass immigration, unvetted, unverified. You commit a crime and you're an immigrant from another country? Stay! You deserve a second chance. The Pray for London people are the people that want loads of undocumented refugees coming into the country. Well, newsflash on the refugees thing uh, for one moment. 20% of Syrian refugees, and yes, I said that, 2-0, 20% support ISIS. One in five, folks. One in five. ISIS came out last year in a video and said, in plain English, and I quote, this is a direct quote, we are using the, uh, Euro uh, we are using the refugee crisis in Europe to smuggle our fighters in. They told us, folks. They aren't even trying to be secretive about it at this point. They are telling us what they're doing and how they're doing it and still we bow down to them we let them win it is unbelievably shocking that still after so many people have died again today and so many people are dying across europe every single fucking week it seems there's still some fuck assing people can't see the truth Still some people, after a terrorist attack, are more interested about going onto social media and calling everyone Islamophobic than they are about anything else. The people were injured and died today because of Islamic terrorism. It is not difficult. They keep killing us. They keep attacking us. And some of us still can't see the truth. Some of us still are more interested in in finding Islamophobia and reporting Islamophobia than anything else. The blood of the dead is on your hands, plain and simple. Merkel's disastrous policies, our disastrous immigration policies, have led to this. If a state isn't even protecting its own people, then what the flying fuck is the point of the state? We have so many spineless MPs that won't and are not prepared to do the right thing to put in policies and protections to protect good citizens, no matter your race, your ethnicity or your political opinion, to protect good people. They are not prepared to do it because they're spineless. How many more have to die? I, I don't... I don't get it. The London Mayor came out only... Only a few months ago, saying that terrorist attacks, you should expect them in a big city, that moderate Muslims are, are, a, are horrible, are bad, are terrible people. I mean, you can't write this. Europe's under attack by Islamic terrorism. These people are twisted, evil people. And if you don't believe me, go to the Middle East and see how long you last. It's shocking that still we have people who defend these terrorists. I am friends with a couple of Muslims who hate Islamic terrorism. They hate it. They understand people's anger in this instance. They, they approve of Donald Trump's ban. They approve of these policies to stop because they're good people and they want to be protected too. I emphasize this point that not everybody in Islam believes the Quran to the letter of the law, worships the Quran to the letter of the law. Now, granted, if you don't do that, it says in the Quran that you are as bad as a non-believer. Um, so, but, but anyway, I mean, that, that, not all Muslims believe, believe this. But it is a disproportionate amount. Th this religion spawns a disproportionate amount of terrorists compared to other religions, and it quite frankly does. And you can talk about the crusade, Crusades in the past. You can talk about all that and it is irrelevant. I'm not a Christian. I'm not religious. This is not a Christian who hates Islam and, and this. And it's got nothing to do with, with religion to me. Now, not, my argument is not based off coming from being a Christian. It's based off coming from being a normal, sane human. You can't solve a problem until you accept the root of the problem. And the root of the problem is Islam. And how violent, evil the Quran is, and how it is spawning a disproportionate amount of terrorists. 
granted, not all Muslims are terrorists. I'm not stupid enough to believe that. I'm not ignorant enough to believe that. But Islam and the Quran is violent. And this is Islamic terrorism. And they are coming in through the refu refugee crisis. When we let people come in from Middle Eastern countries who hold values completely different to us, it should come as no surprise that they don't fit in and that they come and they act out on the fact that they don't view what we view as normal. And they attack our way of life. They attack our democracy. They attack our freedom and our liberties. It should come as no surprise. What we've seen today in London is shocking but not at all surprising. We now live in a world where we expect attacks like this. We have to get smart. People have to get vigilant. We have to be strong at the border. We need serious vetting when we let people in the country. We need to pause letting in refugees and build safe havens in those countries to protect those good people. Because there are good people caught up in the crisis. There really are. There are innocent people caught up in the, the crisis. We can protect them without putting ourselves at harm. We have to stop this mass immigration. We have to stop these hate preachers speaking in mosques around our country, spewing hate, spewing stuff that is just beggar's belief that it's being said. We need to stop them, we need to jail them, and we need to keep them there. If they're not in this country, get them out. You know, I don't understand why why we don't kick people out when they commit violent crimes in this country. You commit a violent crime in this country, or you commit a crime of hate, get out. If you're British, unfortunately, we've got to stick with you. But if you're not, you get out. If I go to another country on holiday or, or anywhere, or I go around somebody's house, I adhere to their rules. I may not agree with them, but I adhere to them. And if I don't, I get the hell kicked out of that place. Sweden is in a mess. Germany is in a mess. Well done, Merkel. France is in a mess. Look at all these Islamic terrorist attacks that are happening in France. France has the highest proportion of, of Muslims in Europe in EU countries. And all, loads of attacks are happening in France. It should come as no coincidence, folks. It's not a coincidence. Not all of this is a coincidence. Wake the fuck up. See the truth. See the reality. This is not a witch hunt on Islam. This is a witch hunt on Islamic terrorism that everybody should hate. How many more have to die? It is a question that I just can't believe I'm, I, I'm even saying it. We have to get smart. We have to get safe on, on, and, and, and strong on the borders. We have to stop these hate preachers like I say. We have to bring in these policies and MPs have to bring in these policies that maybe, maybe are, are not necessarily going to be popular but are going to protect the people. They have to stop being spineless cunts. And I'm sorry for using that word but it's applicable. They have to stop. Today, and what's happened is shocking. My thoughts with those affected, but I think those that cry Islamophobia and protest Donald Trump's bans and, and this and that and, and protest anything that tries to stop and counter terrorism and just simply talk about the terrorist organization, please take a look in the mirror. Take a look at these images. Think for a moment. Put yourself in the families. Put yourself into the, the minds of the families that have lost loved ones in these terrorist attacks and ask yourself just so that you can be politically correct just so you can get brownie points from the little Marxist idiots and Islamic terrorist sympathizers are you happy to be that person that allows this stuff to happen that stops us, ha stops us having the conversations that we need to have and if you are, then you are a very, very sick, twisted 